Hello and welcome to this session. Today I want to show you how to troubleshoot some issues encountered when I try to configure security in Spring Boot application using Keyclock. So let's get started. So to reproduce the issue, let me create an example. I have Keyclock instance on my local machine. I will define the configuration there, client, realm, everything. And I will use this configuration in Spring Boot application to secure some endpoints. So first let's log in, admin and we will create a new realm we call it spring Boot demo create we add a user and we define a password for this user and we define realm roles let's create new one for example api users only those having these roles can access api endpoints for example and we will create a client create new one let's call it demo client next we enable authentication and authorization we are using out to device authorization save this is basically all we need to do for now this is the credential that we will use in our application let's copy the credential now we are done we save and in IntelliJ I prepared this project the Spring Boot project. I'm using security starter, web starter, and the client for out two. This is all what we need. And this is my controller. I define a two endpoint, API and authenticated. And this is the configuration. I am using the new approach using the security filter chain. So it is a simple configuration, as you see here. I am securing this endpoint. It means only users that are authenticated can access this one. No roles is required. And this one to API should be authenticated and have this role. So first let test with authority has authority. For example, this one, OIDC user. And as you see, this is, I am enabling out to client and I am defining an endpoint for logout. The property files. So first I am enabling this parameter to have debug information. And this is the demo client. This is the name of the resource in Keyclock. And we need to adjust the password. We restrict the application to these scopes. And this is also important. This parameter should be set to authorization code. Provider is external and the issuer URL. This is my instance is running on this port and this is the realm. So now we are ready. We can see if it works. Let's run the application. Application is up now. Let's see if we can reach this one. Ah, there is one small thing I forgot. Uh, we need to define a valid redirect URE. So HTTP, this is to our application, local host, 8080. It is running on this and we add this plus holder save now let's try again and and as you see authenticated as you see we are required to enter password demo we have this user it is working now let's try to access epi it is working as well if we change this one if we change the authority name the scope name for example users like that we restart the application let's try to access here and we get the status 403 so it is working using authority now we want to switch to roles so how to do that we have already defined a role in keyclock so instead of authority if you are used to you to work with roles so this is convenient our role name is api users let's restart and see so we know that our user is mapped let's check ah we can we need to add assign a role we add this one it is assigned our user has this role let's check here now we can check with this endpoint authenticated it means here only authentication is required api also the role is required so the issue uh, we see that the user has this role but it doesn't show up here let's check the, the log as you see here granted authorities it looks fine However, I didn't find any information about roles here. Nothing is showing up here. And let me show you how to solve this. So in Keyclock, you need to add an information to the client. 
So this is our client, demo client. We go to client scopes, and this is the dedicated one to our demo client. Here, you need to map this information, map the scopes to the roles defined in the realm. And to do that, you have to add one predefined mapper, name it, let's search for it, roles, this one, realm roles, and make sure that, that the information is added to the token. So here, enable both them and we save. Now let's see what's happened. I expect that it will not work. Indeed, we are still getting the 403 error. However, it should we should have more information. Uh, we need to restart the server. This is the quick way to get things updated. It has been restarted. Let's try to access 403. Let's check the log information. At least we see in our realm access, we have the roles, the API users. So now the roles are showing up here, but why it is not working? The problem is keyclock and spring boots are two different words and the roles from keyclocks are other than what defined in spring boot. So for that, we need a converter. So I prepared a way how to convert this information, how to convert the scopes, the roles from the scopes into the roles in the spring boot word. So I prepared some beans. So in the security config, we need to define some bins to convert this information. So this is realm claim, realms access, roles claim is roles. And this is the important bin, user authority. So you will find this code in GitHub and you can use it. So this is, we don't need that. We are sure that it is, we don't need that we can have this here. So these bins will remap the roles from keyclock into Springboard roles. So let's rerun the server and see if it will work. Let's check here. And now you see it is working. Let's do another test. We log out, log out, log out. We go again to our server. And in keyclock, we define new user demo two credential this user doesn't have the new role so let's see if it will work api demo to demo and as you see this user is not allowed to access this endpoint i hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching and bye